Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. I'm very excited to be sharing this review video with you guys today. It's called Premiere Libraries from my good friend over at Video Hive called Nitrozine. We reviewed a couple of his other products in the past couple of weeks called Video Library and Montage Library, which are for After Effects, but Premiere Library is 750 effects and elements for Adobe Premiere. So what that means, we're able to take these elements that would be created in Adobe After Effects and apply it right inside of Adobe Premiere, saving us a tremendous amount of time not having to edit in After Effects, move over to After Effects in the first place, and render it over and send it back to Premiere. So what are these 750 effects? I'm gonna show you guys in this video what exactly they are and how cool it is to have it inside Adobe Premiere. At any time you wanna learn more about Premiere Library, go ahead and check out my link in the description or in the comments, I'm gonna drop the link in there as well. It'll send you over to this page Premiere Library so you can learn a little bit more. How does this work? Well, this product is all about presets. So you go to your presets folder over here in Premiere and you go to the Premiere Library after you import it and you have several different folders in here for camera movements, chromatic effects, color correction, distortion, glitch, screen effects, and transitions. And this pack even comes with a ton of overlay elements that we'll talk about a little bit later in this video, which are extremely incredible. But first, let's talk about the presets here. So let's say we want to do a little bit of like distortion and glitches. Well, you would have to do that in After Effects, right? Well, because if we have some presets in here, we can go to the glitch effects and we can choose kind of what we want to do. So we have these beautiful folders in here nicely and organized. And maybe I'll just add this chromatic medium in here and we play through the clip. This is kind of what we have here. And you know, just a very nice glitch effect that we can add in a second if you want to add an RBG split in there. Of course, there's a lot of other effects in here. So maybe we'll go ahead and just undo this and we'll look at something else. Maybe we'll do like a screen effects. Uh, we can add a little bit of depth to field, so maybe, and we'll just add a preset in here, and we'll see that the edges get blurred a little bit. And of course, there's, like I said, there's, look how many depth of field effects are in here. So you have a lot to choose from and kind of make it work for your specific shot. Um, and of course, you also have the ability to customize these as well, because, so maybe we like this one. We can double click the effects adjustment layer here, you know, and these are all built-in effects in Premiere, so we can adjust the blurriness if we want to and really have full control over the effects just because these are premiere effects they're not like from after effects or anything like that so we have full control over everything that we do here in premiere for these effects and maybe i want to go in the color correction folder here maybe kind of stylizes even though the shots are already graded but maybe i want to make this vintage or maybe maybe we'll make it black and white we can just add a quick black and white preset and we'll have full control over that we want to add like a vintage effect into it you know we have that color capability as well there's also the cinematic, so if you really want to go crazy with your color correction, this probably won't look good on this clip because it's already graded. But maybe we'll find this clip. It's not necessarily ungraded, but we can grade that up a little bit. And we have these abilities to quickly grade our footage if we need to grade it. So this is really cool to have all these presets that you know, give you a good starting point for your clip. And like I said, you have all the effects to go ahead and change everything as you see fit. Maybe we want to do a quick transition between these two shots. So, you know, we go to transition folder. Maybe we'll do like a quick roll. And maybe we'll do like a fast down here and if we play through this real quick you'll see that we have this nice transition ready to go in a couple of seconds so that is really cool and everything like that so that's some of the transition effects you also have a few other different styles in here as well and of course you can check out more of the presets in here by going over to the link in the description you can click on all previews and that will show you everything exactly what the each effect does more in depth but I really want to get into some of the assets that are in this project file so maybe we'll come right here and I have loaded in all of these folders that are all just you know drag and drop assets that you can really do some awesome things so maybe we'll go to the digi HUD elements and maybe we're doing like a heads up display or we're doing like compositing with um, you know some monitors or something and we really want to make it look cool so you know we have several cool elements in this you know one folder so maybe we do this HUD crosshair and we can drag and drop this on top of our you know, footage. We can double click it in the timeline, go to effects controls, go to blend mode and set it to screen. And now we have this instant HUD. So maybe someone's spying on someone's like a drone's point of view. Uh, that's for that HUD. Of course, there's so many other HUDs in this pack that, you know, we can really build out something cool. So and you see, we kind of have just some cool HUD elements in here. Of course, we'll get some of the other elements in here as well. So we've got some general elements that are just there to kind of you know, spice up your work. So maybe you're doing like a quick title in here and you want to like, hey, here's some background elements. You can easily add that. So these are all video and some of these are pictures as well. So maybe you're just doing a quick uh, composite. You also have some glitch elements, which are basically, once again, this nice glitch composite here, which I really like. So say you want to add a little bit of distortion to this, bring it over to our timeline. And of course, at the blend mode to screen. 
and by setting the blend mode of the screen we can add just some quick distortion into that and that looks really cool and there's so many of these you know just distortion uh, effects in here that we can just have a variety of effects to play with as you can see we have some grudge elements we even have some light leaks which is really exciting so maybe you're doing some transitions you can just drop in this on top of some footage you know there's some nice shape elements in here and a lot that you can work with for adobe premiere that's easy to drag and drop into your timeline and you're ready to go without having to go into after effects so definitely go ahead and check out premiere library if you want to learn more a, here's the full demo video on it and premiere library is from nitro zim who is the author of the product and I've been talking to him for the last couple of weeks and he's definitely assured that if you do purchase this product, you will have unlimited use on the product. So you can use this for any type of project that you have. I know there's probably some difficulties with the licenses on VideoHive. I've been getting a lot of questions on that. Uh, and the author said you can use it for whatever you want. So that's all coming from NitroZine right there. And of course, if you want to learn a little bit more about some of the other products that he's done for After Effects, I highly suggest you check out Video Library and Montage Library. We did two full review videos on it. If Premiere is not your thing, at the very least, you need to check these out because you're really missing out on some great assets for your arsenal. And all of his products have a tremendous amount of sales because they really do work. So at the very least, go ahead and uh, check it out. I'm happy to do some of these review videos and get you guys acquainted with some of the cool products that are out there outside of you know the major plugins like Red Giant or Video Copilot. It's, you know, it's the small plugins that you hear about that really save you a ton of time and can take your work to the next level. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to do that because we post a ton of After Effects and post-production tutorials. And we're gonna be doing these review videos as we go forward to get you acquainted with awesome plugins for our applications to get you acquainted with awesome products for After Effects and Premiere. So in the meantime, hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description and always be creating.